In our Good to Know video series, the SBW Berlin team has talked about the German university system, how to find uh, the university and study program that are suitable to your needs and which universities are located in Berlin and if they actually offer any study programs taught in English. Now you are probably curious to find out how to apply to a university in Berlin or Potsdam. So let's talk about this uh, today. Applying to a public university may seem daunting and scary at first, especially when UniAssist is involved. But remember, even if the application process is more time consuming at first, public universities do not have any hidden charges or any hidden cost. So again, we can only recommend that you leave yourself plenty of time when applying for both university admission and our scholarship program. But what about this UniAssist? Have you ever heard of it? Um, do you know what UniAssist is? As the name indicates, um, UniAssist assists universities and evaluates and pre-checks applications from international students. Yes, UniAssist does charge an application fee that is 75 euros to submit um, the first desired course of study uh, in an application semester. For any additional applications in the same semester, um, that would be uh, 30 euros each. So do your research on universities and study programs before submitting your application, uh, regardless of uh, which university you're applying to. So the next question you have in mind perhaps is, what universities are using UniAssist? We'll compiled a list of universities uh, that are cooperating with UniAssist, but we'll also uh, like to show you how we found this information on the UniAssist webpage and navigate uh, through the webpage as well. So let's uh, go there together. Um, let's see if we can do this. I can't adjust uh, the recording screen, but I'll definitely adjust the language up here. So let's do this and then I'll scroll down and point out uh, important information on the way. So we'll see that in Germany about 180 universities use UniAssist um, in their application um, service, I guess. So we'll ignore the quick links and uh, you'll see here that we have checklists, deadline and the processing time. Uh, we have frequently asked questions. We have an online um, application portals. Uh, we have information for universities, webinars um, and so forth. So we'll ignore all of this and go all the way down to helpful tools. Here we want to select uh, the UniAssist Universities um, link to find out uh, which universities are um, using UniAssist and that they're located in Berlin. So we'll scroll down all the way uh, on the bottom. Here we can select the federal state, cities and universities. We'll um, select the federal state uh, of Berlin here because SBW Berlin is located in Berlin and uh, Berlin is also a city. Um, that's what we want to know. Um, what universities in Berlin use the service? Um, here you could also select Potsdam. Potsdam, by the way, is in the federal state of uh, Brandenburg. So you would have to select Brandenburg, switch to Potsdam. A word on um, Potsdam. While there are great universities in Potsdam, remember that a commute uh, to Potsdam is um, an hour, sometimes two hours one way. So we'll focus on um, universities located in Berlin uh, for now. Under universities, uh, you find all the universities 
that work with UniAssist that include uh, public ones, um, that also include universities of applied science, which are public, and um, it also includes um, private universities. Um, let's go back to, I saw Freie Universität Berlin, FU Berlin, and select that. First, you find information about uh, the university. You can click and go on the university's webpage. Here we'll find an important note um, stating or informing us that uh, the university accepts online uh, application for UniAssist's pre-check and that we have to simply submit uh, our documents as uploads. So let's uh, click on this first and then you'll see another page opens up uh, that talks about uh, how to assemble your documents. It uh, talks about what kind of documents are needed. Um, so read this uh, page carefully um, um, before you prepare and submit your application. We can go to the educational certificate together um, and then we'll see that we'll find information on um, general information on the education certificates. We'll find information on certified uh, translation and certified copies. We'll find information for bachelor uh, application as well as master application and so forth. We'll go back to the um, starting point um, of the UniAssist webpage and briefly go to processing uh, time and deadlines. Um, UniAssist recommends uh, to send in your documents and make any payments at least eight weeks before the um, deadline expires. So it's really, really important to apply as early as possible. Deadlines uh, can be different for each university, so it's always good to check the university's um, what page or the study program you're interested in, just to make sure that uh, you have the correct deadline in mind. If uh, the university does use UniAssist uh, in the application process, usually the application deadline is around July 15. If the course starts um, during the winter semester um, and if the starts the course starts, excuse me, during the summer semester, then the application deadline is often uh, January 15. But again, uh, check with the university's uh, web page to find more information on the deadline. Um, here we have also information on current processing time. Usually it takes four to six weeks to receive uh, your evaluation uh, results and uh, we'll also see uh, a more detailed um, processing time uh, that university assist um, or uni assist updated um, at the beginning of uh, March 2023. So you keep um, can check where your um, your application is, what the status could be as well. So we'll go back to our um, overview here. I'll just um, see if I can arrange um, our screen a little bit um, and set it better. And um, as we said, those are all of the universities that use UniAssist, including the Ivy League uh, schools that are located in uh, Berlin. That includes FU Berlin, Freie Universität Berlin, Humboldt Universität zu Berlin and uh, Technische Universität Berlin. We also uh, summarized uh, the deadlines and processing time for you here. Um, again, check um, any kind of deadlines uh, with the study program um, at uh, the university's webpage as well. Keep in mind uh, that SBW Berlin accepts scholarship application twice a year. For the winter semester, we accept uh, applications 
from May 15 till June 30th. And for the summer semester, it's always at the end of the year, um, that is from November 15 to December 31st. So the summer semester is then always starting the following year after that. So what happens if um, a, un a university does not use UniAssist? Um, then usually uh, they have their own university portal. You need to use uh, to submit your application. Again, it's best to check the study program and the university web page for um, upcoming deadlines uh, for the application process. Be aware that um, not all study programs um, one particular university offers also have the same application deadline, even though they might start at the same time. So here, for example, we took um, one of the University of, of Applied Science located in Berlin, Alice Salomon Hochschule Berlin, and for the winter semester, they do, do offer two uh, master programs that are taught in English, but they do have different application deadlines. So let's go on uh, their web page, see if that works, and see if we can find uh, out more information. So here we have the study um, page. So again, uh, the very first thing we want to do is uh, to switch the language into English. And then I'll adjust um, the degree. Um, both of those are actually further education programs. We'll switch to full time and then we'll see that uh, both of these master degrees are listed here. We'll check the master program for social work as human rights profession. We'll click on it and then you'll see that on this page you'll find um, information, a general profile, what you need to um, be aware of before your studies, during your studies, frequently ask questions if you want to contact the program coordinator. For the winter semester, which starts uh, in October 2023, we'll see that the application deadline has actually been extended to March 19. And here you find the apply button if you are ready to apply to this particular master program as well. So this is about, uh, this is an example about um, a study program um, where the application process is um, online through the university portal as well. Again, you would apply um, on the university's webpage, not using UniAssist. We'll go back to our summary we have done. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this box. Um, and now we can summarize what we have talked about today in our Good to Know video series, how to apply to universities in Berlin or Potsdam, either using the platform UniAssist or the universal, um, university portal. Again, any questions you might have about a particular study program Always, always good to contact the program coordinator. Maybe there's an international office at uh, this particular university, or um, you can also contact the student advising office at that respective university as well, just to get your questions answered. In any case, um, remember preparing both university application and your scholarship application takes time, so do plan accordingly as well. Um, so that's it for today. As always, stay tuned for additional good to know uh, videos, for example, on universities in Berlin or how to select the right study program and so forth. All of these videos are available on our website um, as well as on our social media channels.